Hello everyone. For today's lesson, I'll assume you already have the mic set up with Universal Control downloaded and open. If you want to know how to do that, check this other quick video out. Here, we're just going to go through the DaVinci Resolve setup and troubleshoot some potential problems. First, let's make sure that our sound settings are Gucci. We want to confirm that the Revelator is set to default on playback and on recording, not set on your headphones. Those, by the way, should be plugged into the mic and not the computer. Next, hop into the advanced settings and make sure the default format is set to 48,000 Hz. Otherwise, it probably won't work with Resolve. It'll look like it's recording, but it'll disappear once you hit stop. Next, let's get on over to Universal Control. Make sure the sample rate is also set to 48,000 Hz, aka 48 kilohertz. Mine wasn't by default. If it's not there, the recording will be all choppy. If the revelator doesn't show up, unplug it and plug it back in, then restart Universal Control. Click on Revelator to open the main panel up. Here you have all your favorite settings. I won't go over all of them, but I'll highlight the gain and playback settings on the phones tab. Notice my gain's at zero. You might not need any either. Any higher in my sound clips. Playback and the other sliders should also be not at the bottom if you want to hear everything on your end. If you open something up to listen to, and the playback meter is jumping around, but no sound is coming out, your volume is probably too low. Turn that up on the mic itself. I also recommend turning off the built-in gate until you see how it jives with Resolve. Finally, the mono stereo headphone toggle is hiding over on the right. It's easy to miss. All right, folks, let's go open up Resolve. In Fairlight, let's create a new mono audio track because we're talking into a single mic and set the input. On here, you'll see two inputs. Pick either one and patch it up to the audio track you're on. Close out, arm your recording, and go to town. If that constant playback echo is annoying, either head back to Universal Control and bring down the playback volume or turn down the volume dial on the mic. If you don't have this mic and are now like, wow, I totally need it, link's down in the description. It's well built and works pretty much right out the box. It's also future-proof, being USB-C compatible. Down there, I also put the link to the manual on PreSonus's website. Don't hate me if it breaks. Well, have fun, y'all. 